We continue to follow a breaking traffic alert this morning. A mess for drivers trying to get over the Buckman Bridge. Northbound, all lanes are blocked, and we are also seeing backups in the southbound lanes because of an accident there. Uh, it's just a nightmare for anybody who takes the Buckman. Uh, Florida Highway Patrol Sergeant Dylan Bryan is joining us over the phone. Dylan, good morning. Thanks for being with us. Can you bring us up to speed exactly on the status of the northbound lanes that are closed and how much longer they'll be closed? Yeah, good morning, ladies. Thank you. Um, yeah, currently right now we still have uh, all northbound lanes of 295 closed due to this uh, significant crash that occurred uh, earlier this morning. Uh, we do have crews on scene, uh, some service contractors on scene trying to clean up the, uh, the debris and uh, the, the, the impact field as quickly as possible. That way we can open, open this thing back up. We do anticipate probably about another hour to an hour and a half of closure. Um, again, that's just preliminary and uh, we'll, we'll be opened up as soon as possible. All right, now talk about what's happening southbound because we're seeing everybody backed up there and we just learned there's another accident that's prompting those backups. That's correct. Yeah, currently right now we, we are experiencing several uh, secondary collisions in the area. Um, in layman's terms, that's rubbernecking. That's people not paying attention to the road uh, as they are traversing through various areas. So we, we do see that currently, um, you know, unfortunately every day throughout throughout the area as uh, crashes occur. So it is important to pay attention to the road. We understand people are trying to get from point A to point B, but we want to make sure they do so safely. So, Dylan, we've certainly been following this for the last nearly two hours, as, and as we look right now, I, I, so uh, you think an hour or an hour and a half to clean this up because it looks pretty extensive. It is. It's a very complex scene due to the nature of uh, what was transported on one of the three tractor trailers that were involved in this particular traffic crash. Uh, again, the complexity... Uh, is compounded due to the fact that fire ensued as well, uh, uh, drastically damaging uh, the vehicles after after the collision. So uh, once we have this uh, available to open it, even if we're able to open up one or two lanes at a time, we're certainly going to do that because we understand the, the impact that it's having on our motoring public having this bridge closure. Yeah, and let's talk about, you said three tractor trailers. So we know we had the accident last night that was a serious accident. People were transported to the hospital. They had to extricate those people. And then this box truck that was that hit that one vehicle that was left there this morning. So those are the three that we're talking about? Uh, yes, ma'am. So there was a, tra there, there was a uh, commercial motor vehicle that was on the shoulder uh, from a previous collision awaiting for a wrecker to, uh, to remove that vehicle. When, uh, when the second uh, commercial vehicle was approaching from the rear, um, what we think at this time, that driver uh, was experiencing fatigue or just fell asleep, uh, veered off the roadway and struck the back of that, that first truck. Uh, and then a debris field uh, ensued, which caused uh, damage to a third truck that was traveling behind the one that actually mm -hmm. rear-ended the, the first one. So um, this certainly is a crash that could have been avoided, um, you know, just with a little bit of, uh, little bit of preparation on the driver. But uh, we are thankful that no one was injured in this particular collision. Uh, but unfortunately, we do have significant road closure with it. And again, we'll have it open as quickly as we can. Sergeant Dylan Bryan with Florida Highway Patrol. Thank you, Dylan. We do appreciate your time this morning and hope that we can touch back base with you in the 9 o'clock hour as well to kind of get a status report, if you don't mind, uh, given the yes, fact that this is impacting so many drivers mm -hmm. this morning. We appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am.